Okay, the, the, when we study the populations, uh, currently we study Western populations, and we tend to find the similar findings. We've done studies in Europe, there have been studies in the US, Australia, and Canada, and all consistently show these results. When we go to um, East Asian countries like Korea, Japan, Malaysia, we found similar patterns, but with extremes of deprivations. So those populations tend to sleep a bit even less than we do, and we can discuss it why. And a very few studies have, show, have been carried out in other developing countries. Now, one of the questions that have been uh, raised is how much sleep do we need? Have we always slept the way we sleep now? And the answer is no. There are historical accounts very nicely. For instance, the typical is if you read a lot of uh, Victorian um, Britain, where the standard of uh, sleeping patterns at the time were the so called biphasic the two phases of, of, of sleep. So people used to go to sleep with the rhythm of the sun and the darkness, okay? The, before the invention of uh, artificial light. So you would go to bed early, you will have a first night sleep, then we wake up at night, you would eat, we'd do some work, we'd have sex, and then have another time, so the second sleep, before waking up in the morning. That was normal in Victorian times. And we don't know whether it was in association with disease or chronic disease, because many things were different there, not just the sleep. And if we go to other societies uh, in the world, in, in the rural societies or, or uh, primordial hunter-gatherer societies still in the Amazon island, they may have different patterns. For instance, in East Asia now, there is more um, uh, acceptance, cultural acceptance, of the multiphasic type of sleep. In other words, Lots of people sleep a few hours a night, but then they have several naps during the day to compensate. And, and we think that that is a different type. So it shows you that the, the human beings, although they need at certain hours of sleep, they may cope with sleep at different times of the day. So the fact we associate sleep with our own pattern, that just one night solid block, may not be the only thing that is necessary. And it is socially acceptable, for instance, in China or Japan, that you nap whilst you're at a meeting in front of people or whilst you're in public places, because they only sleep for four hours per night and during the night. But the total amount of sleep, and that's what we'd be referring to when we were measuring sleep, we were measuring the total amount of sleep was about six hours. So yes, there's still a lot to study or what things are that are normal or accepted. Nevertheless, in those uh, uh, communities, in Japan, in Korea, in China, studies of similar nature have been done and have confirmed that short sleepers have a greater incidence of disease than sleepers six to eight hours per night. So how you count it is fascinating and how you can adapt to the patterns of sleep over centuries and, and cultures. But the effect of deprivation in the total amount of sleep seems to be reproduced at least in those countries where those have been studied.